Hey everybody, it's Ryan. I want to give you a quick overview of this Chestnut Air electronic chess set. This thing is pretty legit, but I don't want to ruin it for you. I'm going to open this up and go through all the different aspects of this, the pieces, how the electronics work, uh, to the best of my knowledge, because there's a lot definitely going to highlight the most important things. And uh, really cool, because this company reached out to me and they said, Ryan, you, can you please do a review on our super cool chess set? And I saw this thing, I was like, absolutely. So here we go. All right, so unboxing it, it is... Uh, comes and looks like this. So you have your different pieces. The pieces here, this is literally the first time I'm opening these. They, if they're not real wood, they look like, it looks like real wood. Maybe it is. Uh, if it's not real wood, I, can, I, can, I can't even tell. That's just the quality is definitely there. The bottom has a velvet, tight padding to it so it's soft to the touch and it probably aids in the uh, uh, movement on the board. So that's cool. These things look really, really nice. Give you a little close up view of that as well. Pretty nice. All right, so you also get this here in the middle. This looks like a, uh, it's a USB-C to USB. We're gonna find out what that's for. And so let's get into this. Put this off to the side. Got a USB, got some foam padding, and then I guess this is here. That's cool. I guess to make, help it come out of the box because this is like airtight. Nice little plus there. And then you have your uh, what looks like a electronic board. It's it's this is pretty heavy. I mean, uh, this is this is yeah. This is some this was some good quality stuff. Let's open this up. So there you have it, there's the, the board. Let's get a nice close up. Looks like these white dots are uh, the indicators. We'll get into that here in a little bit. Numbered here on the side, one through eight. A through H, A through H, one through eight. That just helps with, I'm assuming, which we're gonna find out here in a little bit, uh, the labeling the board from probably a, a movement standpoint, obviously this would be 1A, this would be 3A, and so on. It does come with a quick guide. Then on the side here, it looks like you have your control panel and looking at the guide, it tells you exactly what the different options are. So you have power and then you have your, I don't know, plus button. We're gonna find out what that's for. A USB power here, here. So I'm assuming this is uh, an indicator is from a charging standpoint. We're gonna find that out here in a little bit. All right, so once you get everything set up here, there's a, a couple easy settings. So you just do a long hold, this is your power button. You're gonna long hold that and then your power light's gonna come on. This is not needed. This this uh, is basically a U your USB-C to you can do, uh, I just have it connected to my computer here just to get power. That's how you charge it. So there's an internal battery. And if you are just sitting around and you want it to just stay charged, um, you would just plug it in and just, and just leave it in. Then you're gonna, the same button right here, you're gonna tap and you're gonna connect to your phone. And so here, this would say disconnect and you'd click this while this is flashing. And once it hits solid blue, then it is connected to your phone. And that's where um, you are going to connect and play. Let's just say you wanna play online or anything else where you need to kind of have everything uh, up and running. But that's, that's the key thing. And it's not like a typical uh, Bluetooth connection where um, you have to go through a variety of different settings. It just is scanning for your phone and it just uses that to be able to connect to uh, this app. So it's super, super simple. And now you can see here we have a solid green and we have this. And then this button right here, this plus button, is where you tap that and that's how you can start a new match. Pretty, pretty cool. Another thing, if you don't play a lot of chess and you're not, you want to make sure you have the board set up, if, for example, you're playing and you don't remember where all the pieces go, it will let you know. You know, so if it's a... Uh, um, if it's, you know, you get ready to play a game and let's just say you have, you know, let's just for an example, you have these in the wrong spot. These lights would be illuminated saying, hold on, there's something wrong here. They're in the wrong spot and you would move them over. 
and then you'd be good to go. Uh, that was sort of an interesting learning curve for me because I literally had the whole board swapped. I had all the dark pieces here, all the white pieces here, and all the lights were lit up, and I'm like, it looks good. Uh, it's because I had them on the wrong, on the wrong side of the board. Uh, so that was interesting. You could also set up, and through this app, you can play a game. And here it says play computer, if that comes through. Uh, let me see if that'll, that might be better to see. You can see it says computer or friends. Um, standard, 960, random, white, black. You can, get, you can choose kind of your um, what side you're on. You can adjust the difficulties, especially if you're playing sort of the, uh, uh, the robot version, if you will. And, uh, and then you can start your game here. All right, so once you get to this point where everything's set up, I'm going to share with you a really cool, unexpected feature, not knowing anything about this going into this. And that is how you can play with somebody online. And so even if somebody else does not have this board, through the chess app, chess.com uh, website and app, you can connect the uh, Chestnut Air app. You get the app uh, through the Play Store. All the instructions are that are um, come with this. Then what you got going on is you go online and you have two. You have um, Light Chess and then you have Chess.com. Let me zoom in there so you can see it. So either one you do, you just you just hit connect. I'll give you an example when you go to Chess.com. Then it would ask you to log in. I've actually already created a account and you would just connect. And so now you're in there. And you can either start playing with an opponent. Uh, this would be your account right here. And then what you can do, which is super cool, is you can come in here and you can create matches and have um, friends or play with computers, play with you know any skill level person. But what was really important to me that really stuck out is that I could play with, let's just say, a friend or relative that I know plays chess that maybe is on the other side of the globe. And so it's a way to kind of bring people together and use chess as a way to do that. And I want to share with you how that works. So once you're connected, like in this situation, I've requested, I created a, I created a separate account. So this is like a, a second account, just from a tutorial standpoint, that I'm connecting to my account that I'm using with this board. So I've gone in and I've submitted a request. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to accept. All right. So now our game is in play. So now it's waiting for somebody to make a move. So let me actually back this out. All right, so our game is ready to start. You can see here we have nothing going on. So what I'm gonna do, I believe the uh, this account is first. So this is my account right here. This is, this is the one that's on this board. And so if you can see, I'm gonna try to get them both in the same shot here. Let's say I move this piece, it moves it here. So the person I'm playing online can see that I move there. That's pretty dang awesome. So then this is the computer. This is the second account. So this would be somebody that's, you know, off somewhere else. Then I come up here. I can move this to here. Then if you come over here, it will light up in green the piece that it wants you to move or this other person you're playing wants to move and where to move it. So I'm going to go from here to there. And now that piece has been updated. There's a ton of professional settings that have to do with the actual game of chess. From a beginner to highly advanced, um, I would what, I'm what you call more of a, a beginner as far as this is concerned. But I don't know all the like the technical, you know, well advanced actual moves. Uh, but from the timers, you can see the countdown timers here, and it would it would even say this is more of a chess.com thing. Well, it's waiting for a move, so I come in here. I know it's my turn to move, so I'm gonna go over here and say. Actually, I'm sorry, let's see, I'm gonna move my piece. I think this is the right one. Nope, and so if I move and, it, and it's green like that, it means it's not my turn. So, so from a tutorial stand, you can see how it works. You can literally be playing with somebody, you can save them as a friend in your account over here with players, and you can play people virtually all the time. That's just, that's just I, I don't know, I'm, I must be out of the game because this is unbelievable as far as, far as I'm concerned. This is this is the coolest thing right here. You just go to invite link, you copy your link that's unique to your account, and then you could just text it, email, send it however you want to a friend that you know is playing. It will send them an invite. They go in, they create their chess.com uh, account, and then boom, you guys are connected and can play. 
Um, you can also come in here and you can you can search for players. So you can just ask somebody, hey, what's your you know your chess.com or or light chess, uh, Lee chess, however you pronounce that um, account. You just activate that and then you're linked together and that just makes playing your friends that you know and you want to play regularly that much easier. From a from a almost like a, a social standpoint, this is the most impressive thing uh, besides just the, the sheer quality. I mean, this is a quality board, quality pieces. Um, the lights are easy to understand. The the There is absolutely, uh, at least not noticeable, I don't notice any lag time between when I'm playing on the computer to this which is really impressive. I mean, as you saw in the early example, like as soon as you move this, it's instantly uh, changing the uh, the pieces over here. So these are just some things that I have just was not expecting from a, a fun, interactive um, convenience, whatever you want to call it. Just, I am actually, this is unbiased, just my sheer reaction <laughs> is uh, um, I'm pleasantly surprised at what I, the piece of technology that I have in front of me. Again, this is besides the, the definite quality you have in this board. Uh, the, the tech behind this, you, you wouldn't think looking at this, from my personal experience, you wouldn't think, man, this is like some fancy looking board, but the tech, the technology built into this uh, is is surprising, but the way it's being presented, if if you didn't see this side right here, you you wouldn't know. You know, you would not know. This is a a, a from what my perspective is a, a high end piece of electronics, um, and it, it but it keeps the classic look with this wood grain, nice finish, uh, the velvet uh, you know bottom here. And uh, it's just a clean looking design. The second thing you're going to get is just the ease of use um, as far as connecting to the technology, connecting the app, computer, all that fun stuff. Um, once you kind of play around with it a little bit and you, you, you go through the, uh, what I would say, a, a relatively brief learning curve, um, being able to now play unlimited matches with either friends or uh, strangers or to just refine your own skill uh, is something that I'm just personally impressed by because I'm maybe a little bit more old school and if you don't have anybody to play with then you just couldn't play uh, and so that's kind of a cool thing as well so hopefully all this information uh, helps you in your decision but I can't speak highly enough of this this is just awesome talk to you soon